Hello guys, I'm back once again. So we have discussed about the anatomy, histology and pathology. In pathology, we have discussed about the morphology and pathophysiology also like how the questions are correlating to each and everything. So today, let's discuss the remaining other subjects like which can correlate to each other. For example, like biochemistry, physiology, and pharmacology the thing is everyone will start doing like studying 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 like most of the questions that I feel that by so many of our friends ask like where to start when to start from where from which side we have to start and where from where we have to end so there are many this type of questions so I just experienced my preparation when I was giving croak one so I just wanted to help you guys with the tips for the preparation of croak one so let's start. See, we have the three subjects, biochemistry, physiology and pharmacology. So why I have wrote these three subjects? Because this biochemistry is a father to this both physiology and pharmacology. So without biochemistry, these both were not existing each other. So the thing is, so we have to discuss about the biochemistry. So whenever we talk about the biochemistry, mostly, mostly the questions which, we, which will be discussed in the final examination, those will be mainly from the main topics like amino acids, in the amino acids, like which are necessary and which we need to take from our nutrition. And the all cycles, glycolysis, uh, ETC, and urea cycle, ornithine cycle, any cycle, any cycle that uh, which comes from the like uh, cycles like biochemistry like which you follow Satanarayana from there only but the thing whenever you start preparing for biochemistry crow questions mostly you will be seeing like uh, in among 10 to 15 questions maybe at least 3 to 2 questions you will be seeing from the vitamins topic vitamins vitamin chapter is very important in the main vitamin chapter you need to discuss about its root its branches and its leaves its fruits it means you need to be perfect right from the starting initial introduction part of this each and every vitamin like what are fat soluble vitamins what are water soluble vitamins so you need to have each and everything. You need to know the examples like which diseases will be occurred when there is a insufficient vitamin quantity in our body. So this is the main topic from the biochemistry. You mostly cover the vitamins topic is very important. So when you come about the physiology, physiology, the mostly the topic deals with the hormones. The topic mostly it deals with hormones. Like we have anterior and posterior pituitary hormones like as you know like anterior uh, pituitary hormones like trophic hormones like we have the posterior hormones as like vasopressin and oxytocin but the thing is exactly like all the hormonal hormonal synthesis where it is taking from which structure where the hormones are coming where they are storing and how they are working so mainly the questions will be based on these hormones only and the next thing in physiology mostly you will be finding without without this sodium potassium pump conduction impulses there is no question let it be in any topic in any topic you will be discussing about this sodium and potassium conductivity and their impulses for example you have questions like in physiology like excitable cell so in excitable cell there are some uh, sodium like which is uh, taking its depolarization up to some threshold limit so like that questions you will be having in the physiology but finally come to the pharmacology due to this pandemic situation of corona many of them have not been went for their classes like offline classes everyone have been gone through their online classes but the guys my friends try to listen this because in pharmacology the question will be based on the drugs you need to know about the drug the drug belongs to which class this class belongs to which group and this group belongs to so which the main topic after that whenever you try to solve the pharmacology question try to find out the drug and its classification 
when you find out the drug and its classification you have finished about among about like uh, in 100 percent you have finished like 30 percent like when you find out the uh, topic by saying the drug then there you finished your 30 percent next after that drug distribution is very important like whenever you're taking some drug how the dust drug is getting into break and how this uh, the drug is utilized by which receptors whenever we give the drug distribution how these receptors are allowing the drug to accept see there are some drugs which will activate the cells which will inhibit the cells so we can normally call it as the activation and inhibition of the receptor cells and finally whenever you read a question in the pharmacology try to find out the symptoms symptoms are very important try to find out the symptoms like what's happening for example there is asthma guy he is having like tachycardia dyspnea tachypnea and his uh, respiratory rate is increasing actually the respiratory should be 24 minute 24 repetitions per minute but the respiratory rate is increasing like 42 per minute and the tachycardia bradycardia see the symptoms but the thing is mainly what drug we are going to suggest that is the treatment that we are going to give in the final year. but after the symptoms in every topic symptoms you have to see in every question sorry in every question of pharmacology you need to see the symptoms after that whatever the drug that you are studying in the options MOA of that drug it means the mechanism of action of the drug and finally you give the treatment for your patient so guys this is the main tips for the preparation so like how I told you before like like you need to correlate the subjects like uh, anatomy histology pathology you also need to correlate this physiology and biochemistry this physiology and this pharmacology everyone is having interlink each subject is having interlink so without interlinkage there is no medicine so guys please uh, go in this order and the same here also you try to complete five questions from biochemistry five questions from physiology five questions from pharmacology all together you are completing total how many questions 15 questions why i am telling you to follow like this because when you try to start following like this you will have a combination of the questions which will correlate easily so thank you guys thank you so much